can we get a European miracle? Because a miracle is exactly what we will need to stay in this season's European competitions. Welcome back, guys. Son of Scotland 90 with the Football Manager 2023. Hearts career mode. It is episode 12. And we're taking on Florentina, the big Italians. We have to travel to Italy and we have to pull off the Italian job. We have to pull off the heist of the century. Money heist Korea might be fucking trending at the moment but we need to do money heist italia we need to go in we need to steal the three points and then we need other results to go our way last time out we were winning our europa league conference game up until like three minutes to go we can see that goal and that goal could be the goal that actually knocks us out the competition because you will see now that we need to beat florentina and we need silkborg to beat olympiacos but up until the 88th minute we were beating silkborg so that would have put us on seven points and it would have gave us a more realistic chance because it meant we would have had to beat Florentina but Olympiacos would have only needed to draw with Silkberg or we could have drew with Florentina and if Olympiacos lost we would have went through that way but now it's looking very difficult do you have much faith in Olympiacos losing to Silkberg? no not really they beat them 3-0 at home who knows maybe they'll struggle away but I just don't have much faith guys I really don't so here, here's hoping that we, we can do the job and progress and uh you know prolong our stay in europe i just don't see it happening so yeah we will get into that game shortly but before we do it's time to have a quick look at the monthly board performance review it's the start of the month the start of november now keep in mind we do have the winter break coming up soon so that could change everything but i'm not really wanting the winter break because i think we'll turn things around especially in the league we're beginning to hit some good form so for me i would much rather just continue but no we've got a shitey uh, blood money world cup coming up so unfortunately we have to down tools for about a month to deal with that but in terms of our overall rating we've got a c plus job security is stable to summarize the board are pleased with your management of the team i mean that's that's okay i think that's probably a bit fair breakdown club vision and culture the board are satisfied with the progress made towards realizing the club's vision matches c plus the board are pleased with the team's recent results transfers we haven't really done any, so they can't rate me on transfers. Tactics is a C plus. Happy with the impact Gen Gen Prestel has had in recent matches. They are particularly pleased with the quality of pressing on display when this style is in use. And squad C plus. The board are pleased with your support and backing from the players. Not every player has our back, but most of them do. And you can see the the board that they're most pleased. The highlights are. Delighted with atmosphere, pleased with the 2-0 win over Ross County and pleased with the 2-1 win over Olympiacos, which was a great game in fairness. However, they're disappointed with the heavy 3-0 defeat to Olympiacos, so was I. Uh, they're disappointed that we only reached the uh, quarter-final of the Premier Sports Cup and again, so was I, but we did take on Rangers. It was a difficult draw and the board have acknowledged that. And they're concerned about the 1-0 Conference Group E defeat to Silkborg. Wait, oh wait, fuck, we lost to Silkborg? Can't even remember. So we lost to Silkborg. That sucks. I thought we, I thought we got a draw. We didn't even get a draw. We lost to them. Jesus Christ. No wonder they're not happy. I'm not happy with that either. Uh, the the supporters though, they seem to be happy enough. The board and the supporters are kind of similar, but the the supporters are a bit more slightly in our favour. They're giving us a B minus, but hopefully we can you know get some good results today. Get a big win against Florentina and, uh, yeah, get the board and the supporters both on our side. Now, there could be a possibility that we could sign Andrew Shinney, the 33-year-old experienced attack midfielder. Contract runs out at the end of this year. He would be an okay signing, not someone I'm particularly looking to sign. I would prefer his brother, Graham. But, I mean, I think Andrew Shinney's not a bad player, but I don't know why he's been recommended to me. I'm not sure that he's someone I want to add to the club. Uh, he, he wouldn't be... He, he would be, what, our third best midfielder. Apparently, he's above Alan Forrest. He's a bit level with Barry Mackay, Snodgrass. I mean, it, it would be a decent sign, and I'm not going to sit here and lie. The wages would be cheap enough. Uh, if we did put in a bid for him, we, we could put in a small bid and be guaranteed to get him. Or we could try and get him at the end of the season. You know what? I mean, I, I'll, I'll keep that in mind. He's been recommended to us. Who knows? I'll maybe even put it up for a poll. Because he is a player that I think could add something to it. Let's approach the agent. 
Um, we're keen on... We're looking at a few players right now. Uh, I'll say they're curious. Andrew, yep. Yeah. Uh, what is he? I'm slightly disappointed here. You're only curious. Oh damn it! Okay, as he's very keen on a move to Hearts, as you're not exactly excited about the idea of doing a deal, I'm not going to reveal many of our demands at this stage. Okay, so he's not going to reveal his demands. That kind of sucks. I oh, will just agree with that then. So there you go. Maybe, maybe I should have pretended that, that was more interested in the guy, but I'm not. At the moment, I'm, I'm simply just having a little look. I'm like window shopping, you know. I'm not willing to spend any money or commit to anything. I don't want to get married. I just kind of like want a first date, you know what I mean? It's like the first message that we're sending here. So, yeah, I, I'm not going to commit it into signing Andrew Shinney if his, if his agent's annoyed with that then. I don't know what to tell him. I don't know what to tell him. But I know what to tell everyone else. We need a win up next against Florentina. With that said, guys, let's go and do it. Peter Haring has just picked up an injury. He will be out for the game, which sucks because we could have used him. We'll just have to go without him. All right, so here is the lineup. Then we don't have a full squad to choose from, but I'm going to go with what we've got. Craig Gordon will start. I kind of wanted to give Sander Clark a, a taste of European action, but you know what? I thought this could potentially be Craig Gordon's last game in Europe, so I've got to give Craig Gordon the nod. Michael Smith wants more game time. I'll maybe try and get him on as a sub, but this is a must-win game for us. I feel like Atkinson is the better option. He's got more attacking flair. I feel like he can offer... More going forward, so I went with Atkinson. Hulk and Sibic will be the centre back partnership. Alex Cochrane on the left. Got Keo and Devlin in the middle of the park with Alan Forrest pushed in front of them. Janelli and Barry Mackay on either side. And of course, Lawrence Shankland up front. So that's the team that we're going with. Can this team beat Florentina? I fucking hope so. Let's go. Let's keep our good run. What the hell, Nathan? Nathaniel Atkinson is not happy. Seems confused. Confused about what? I want to win. I don't know. I don't know what he's confused about. Hearts were impressive last time against Ross County. How do you carry that form into this match? Well, we just pretty much do the same shit, same tactics, same style, and we hope for the best. We beat Ross County. They're not quite Florentina, but I mean their kits are a wee bit the same. I mean Ross County playing like dark blue, Florentina playing like a dark purple. Practically the same team. If you if you squint your eyes a wee bit, you know you may as well be playing. Sure, I'm, I'm pretty sure Dingwall's just a nicer place as Florence is as well. So who knows? But yeah, that's the team. We've got players on the bench that of course can do something. You've got boys. You've got um, Humphreys. So there is attacking players on there. And here we go then. Watching the players come out for the last European game, unless of course we win this and then we get very lucky with Olympiacos losing. This will be. Uh, the last European game, unfortunately. I just don't see how we go through. I mean, I can see a way that we win. I just don't see Olympiacos losing. And for Olympiacos to lose and for us to win, do I see us getting that lucky? Uh, the answer, unfortunately, is no. We, we never really get luck on our side, so I don't see it happening all of a sudden. But we're going to try. We'll try our best, and hopefully we can come away with the result. But it's Cochrane early on with a throw-in to Forrest. Forrest gets it back to him. Cochrane finds Sibic, who just launches one forward. Barry Mackay's in open space here. Barry Mackay into the box, and it's headed back to him, and the goalie comes up. Golini collects that, just jumps into the six-yard box and grabs it with his hands. But that was a chance there for us. It wasn't a clear-cut chance, but Barry Mackay maybe could have done better. Atkinson heads it forward. Forrest flicks it to Keogh. Keogh back to Civic. Civic then finds Cochrane. Cochrane to Civic again. Devlin to Keogh. Yeah, There's some good stuff here at the moment. Until that Keogh pass, that was shocking. Gonzalez now charging forward here, and we're just letting him run into the box, and then Keogh brings him down. What a, what a fucking spastic, man. Seriously, gives the ball away. Passes it straight to the Florentina player, then brings him down for a penalty. Oh, Craig Gordon, he's not a spastic, he's the man. Craig Gordon saves us. But I cannot believe that, that Atkinson done that, man. That was, or Civic even, whoever it was. Can't even remember. No, Keogh, it was Keogh. Don't want to blame the wrong person here. Ball in, headed away. Sakiwoski will go for this. It's edge of the box to Telsic. And this could be a break on Alan Forrest. Now run. Run, Alan. He's in space. Go. What's he doing? He's running to the corner of this. What the hell is this? Oh, and he's been fouled. That's bad. It's a bad tackle. But only a free kick given. No card or nothing. Olympiacos are winning. So, as things stand, we need to score here. And we need Olympiacos to lose two goals in Denmark. It's not the best start. But at least Florentina missed their penalty. That's the only consolation I can take at the moment. Craig Gordon. 
is also playing an 8.1. That's a good rating, but the fact that he's playing an 8.1 tells me he's done a lot in the first 28 minutes. So, yeah, we can. Uh, you don't really want your goalkeeper to be, oh, Keown, a yellow card slides in. I was going to say, you don't really want your goalkeeper to have a high rating, because that normally means that he's, he's having to face a lot of shots, albeit it probably means he's kept a lot of them out as well. But here we go, Devlin. To Barry Mackay, must do, yes, goal, Barry Mackay, fifth goal of the season. Slots that passed the goalkeeper, was he offside though, that's the big question. We're celebrating the goal, we're not even looking at VAR. Fuck VAR, man. Oh, and as soon as we score, Olympiacos score, man, that just deflates me. That's like taking all the air out of the balloon, man, just, you know what I mean, but we're doing great, we're flying high, and then boom, spike to the balloon, burst, our balloon is burst, our bubbles burst, man. But here we go, Barry Mackay. Can we bust the back of the net? Ball in? No, we can't. He headed away, but Florentina bring it on. Oh, you know what, man? Keel's actually done well since giving away that goal, but he needs to be careful. He's on a yellow card. Ginelli! Oh, and he's missed. Josh Ginelli, son. Speaking about being careful, you have to bury that. And Olympiacos are now 3 0 up. Jesus, what do we tell the boys here? I don't know. We're winning, we're doing great. But we are pretty much out of Europe now, unless Silkberg can get four goals. Uh, let me see here. Pump the fists. The pundits, mate, uh, I think we need to show everybody that, oh god, we're doing well, but I think we can find another gear. I, I think that's true, we're doing well, but at the same time, I do think we're under the cosh a wee bit. I do believe that, I believe we've got what it takes to win this by a couple. Uh, but we definitely should have maybe made it, oh, Saltburg got a goal back. That's exactly what we're looking for, it's off the bar, and it's, oh, and I don't know how that's went wide. They've hit the bar, and the rebound has rebounded it, like, off a bunch of people and went wide. That is crazy. That is absolutely crazy. Mali then launches one in, head up towards the goalkeeper. And Surioski then watches that one go out of play. Devlin puts it for the throw-in. 52 minutes gone. It is still Hearts with the lead here. It's Hearts 1, Florentina 0 in this Europa Conference League game. Barry McKay with the goal that separates both sides. Now it's Iconi doing this. Right hand side back to Finuti, it's Amrabat, Cabral, back to the, the centre back now, Florentina dominating possession, they're holding on to the ball, and we're content with this because all we can really do is win, you know, it doesn't, our result doesn't really change, we need to win and that is it, it's, it's Olympiacos that we need to lose, so whether we win 1-0 or 10-0, it doesn't really change anything, uh, good tackle for Devlin, but apparently not, oh you're joking me, he's gave a, a second red for, a, a second yellow for that. Oh, he tripped him. He barely fucking made contact with him. That is an absolute joke. I cannot believe that is sickening. That's right. We're gonna have to just we're gonna have to change this up quite a bit here. Uh, that is absolutely unreal, though. That that's not a foul. I, I cannot believe he's actually booked him for that, man. That's unfucking believable. Um, Josh Janelli's gonna come off. We're bringing on Andy Halliday. We'll get Andy Halliday on defend. We'll get the we'll get the wing backs. I think at this stage we'll get the wing backs on defend. We are winning anyway, so we'll see if we can hold on to it. There's no point pushing forward when we're in this kind of trouble. Forrest can be a winger on support. Barry McKay, you can be a wide midfielder on support as well. Actually, Barry McKay is more suited to playing a inverted winger, so we'll play him in as, as an inverted winger on support. And uh, Lauren Shanklin will we'll leave up front. Actually, you know what? We'll probably make a sub here. We'll bring on Humphreys. Humphreys can run about because he's going to have to run about. He's going to be on his own, so we need Humphreys to do it himself. Um, I'm actually going to take Keo, Keo off as well because I, I'm going to bring Haring on, or maybe put Sibic. Yeah, you know what? We'll push. We'll push Sibic into the midfield, and we'll bring on uh, Michael Smith. Looks nervous. I don't know if that's a good idea. No, we're going to bring Michael Smith on. Michael Smith, son, you're coming on. You want a game. You want a chance. We're giving you that chance right here, right now. So please do not let me down. And Salzburg have pulled it back again. It's 3-2 in that game. Who knows? Maybe the great escape's actually on here. Atkinson spins around, finds Halkett. Halkett to Halliday. Halliday up to Henderson. Ranieri's there. He collects it. He wings it out to Cartor. Amrabat into the midfield, and it's... Yeah, we're, we're uncautious at the moment. I am going to... Oh, Iconi's got past him. Uh, no, come on. Good block into the hands of Craig Gordon. Great stuff. We're going to go very defensive here. Uh, in terms of instructions, we're going to go less direct. We're going to load the tempo down. We're going to waste all the time that we have in the world. And we're just going to keep things narrow. In transition, we're going to regroup. We're going to hold shape out of possession. We're just going to drop back. And we're just going to get the... Yeah, we're going to... 
we're going to invite crosses because I think we can deal with crosses. So that's uh, that's going to be the game plan. And in terms of shouting, we're going to tell the team to focus because that's what we need to do. It was 20 odd minutes to go. And if we do focus, then we give ourselves a chance. We're 1 0 up. Just need to hold on. All we need to do is deny Florentina. Uh, a goal in the, in the next 18 minutes. But what they do have here is a free kick, and this could be dangerous. Iconi over the... Ah, uh, for fuck's sake. Jonathan Iconi. I knew it. As soon as I got a free kick, I just knew it. Iconi with the goal. Uh, I'm not really going to change much, to be honest. There's, we can't really attack. We're down to 10 men. If we can come out with a draw, then I, I'd probably, it would be a decent draw, wouldn't it? But Iconi into the box. His shot blocked. Craig Gordon tips it over. Helps it go out there, and it will be another uh, set piece now for Florentina. We are going to look to bring on... Yeah, I can't really take... I don't want to take Stephen Humphreys off. We just literally brought him on. I'm going to bring on Liam Nielsen, and I'll bring on maybe Kai Rolls as well. Can we play Kai Rolls at the left? Yeah, we can. Kai Rolls can play left wing back. So there you go. We're, we're making changes at the back, bringing on fresh legs. I still think we can get a draw. I don't blame Devlin, by the way, for getting sent off. I think it was a joke of a decision. I cannot believe he got sent off, to be fair. Humphreys it to Mackay. Is there anything here for us? Barry Mackay, not with a ball like that. That's intercepted. It's Sotty now. Doing the left-hand side. Sotty up against Nielsen. It's into the box. It's Srawioski and it's Iconi at the back post. And this Jonathan Iconi again. He, he's just turned the game around. Oh, but it won't count. He hasn't turned fuck all around. The referee's turned player in and he says it won't count. It's going to be uh, a free kick to us for offside, I think. So brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Seven minutes to go. Can we hold on? I don't know. There's a lot of pressure now. Oh, and they hit the side netting. Yeah, they, they are pretty much giving everything now. They are attacking us here. We're holding on for dear life. We've made five substitutions. We can't make any more than that. All we can do now is just sit back and, and pray that we get the draw out of this. We had a, a throw in there, maybe a chance of doing something, but it didn't really work. Halkett comes across. He collects that ball. He brings it down, plays it back to Craig Gordon. Gordon now looking for options. He finds Halkett. It's Sibic Halliday. Halliday's pass. Piss poor. Intercepted by Dodo. It's Surioski. It's so to, Oh my god, Andy Halliday. That's a shocker a challenge. He could be off. This could be nine men. I'm actually I think it's gonna be a red it is a red. Andy Halliday. Andy Halliday is seen red man. What the fuck? Big Andy son, what are you doing? And now we are down to this is sickening. Uh what we going I don't even know what we can do. Fuck it, yeah, we just have to get everyone back essentially, don't we? Have what more like what we're down to nine men. Uh, we're not even gonna play with anybody in the Florentina half. We just need to literally make sure that we uh hold on a second. What what can I actually do? We've got Civic still playing. We're gonna drop Civic into the middle here. So we're gonna drop Civic into the middle. We will and we'll just tighten up the, the middle of the park. I know these players aren't really suited, but what can you do? We've not been we've not been dealt a good hand here. If we can get a draw at this, it would be absolutely massive. But Iconi with a free kick. Oh, top of the netting. Iconi's been a danger, man. I wish he wasn't playing. If he wasn't playing, we could have arguably won this. But it would have been difficult with, with nine men, I'm not going to lie. That should do it, though. And we've done it. What a draw that is. I tell you what, can't ask for much more than that. It's a bit bittersweet because we are out of Europe with that result. But a, a draw against Florentina in Italy with, with nine men, that is, that's fantastic. Craig Gordon, a 9.0 man of the match rating. That's that's great. I love to see that. I think we've done well there. We can be proud of our efforts. Uh, I don't blame Devlin. The Andy Halliday tactic, though, was a wee bit... Uh, Andy Halliday tactic, I think it was a wee bit too far. Uh, not the tactic, the tackle. We just completely bashed that guy. So there you go. We have lost. Well, we've not lost that game. We're through that game, but we're out. We may, we may well have lost it, but I'm, you know what? I'm happy with that. We're going to. You know what? I'm, I'm not going to appeal. I'm going to fine Andy Halliday a week's wages, man. Because I don't think that was right. And I'm not going to appeal because I thought it was shocking. So there you go. We'll see what Andy Halliday thinks of that. Hearts will be reward 143k for the draw. I mean, money. Money's good. You like to see it. Craig Gordon was impressive. He was impressive. Let's get some. Let's get him praised because he deserves it. Uh, I'm not going to go to the pre-match press conference. I don't really want to say anything. But what can I say? You know, we were winning. Then we got two men sent off. You know, shit happens. Cameron Devlin has acknowledged he deserved to be fined for his dismissal. I wasn't even aware that I fined uh, Devlin. I, I, I fined Andy Halliday, and I think he definitely deserved it because this tackle was shocking. 
But you know what? It is what it is. Lee McCulloch took the press conference, so he can he can say whatever he wants. It's a it's a it's a decent draw. It's a good draw, actually, in fact, especially when you consider with with nine men. But it's a draw, unfortunately, that does knock us out the competition. So we'll quickly look. I believe that we finished third though in the group, which is better than finish. Of course, it's better than finishing any lower than that. So I'm I'm kind of happy. Yeah, I mean, we finished with five points. Uh, one win over Olympiacos, a great win that it was. Uh, we had a, a draw against Florentina. So, I mean, there, there was good results there. I don't think it helped that we got a really difficult group as well. I mean, once we were drawn against Florentina and Olympiacos, it was always going to be difficult. But you know what? We gave a decent account of ourselves. We picked up a win, got a couple of draws. I don't think it was that bad. I'm looking at that, and honestly, no one really gives a chance of finishing in the top two. We didn't, but we took it to the last game. That's all you can really ask for. So, yeah, who knows? Different day, different set of results, different cards being shown. Then maybe we do slightly better. But we're back to the league now. Let's forget about Europe. We'll make sure we need to make sure that we qualify for Europe next year. We need to make sure that we're in European football again next season. So by doing that, we need to make sure that we finish at least in the top four in the league. Maybe fifth, but I'm not interested in fifth. I want to finish top three. At the moment, we're sitting in third. But we're behind Hibs, which does annoy me. I'm happy that we're ahead of Rangers, but be being behind the Edinburgh rivals is not good. So we need to do our best to get in front of them. They are le above us on goal difference. They're level on points, but above us on goal difference. So we're playing Mullerwell up next. I'm hoping that we can not only beat Mullerwell, but try and get our goal difference up by a few and, and hopefully get a comfortable win. Hearts have been received 33k for their share of unallocated match prize money for drawn matches. Okay, that's strange. I'll take it. It's free money. I wasn't really aware that we were entitled to it, but if we're getting money, then I will 100% accept that. We'll open up the bank account and we'll, we'll put all the money in. So, yeah, happy with that. Happy with that. Right, Aberdeen versus Hibs. Can Aberdeen, can the sheep do us a favour? Let's hope so. Because if they do, then... Oh, they do. Brilliant. Roberts with a goal. So that means that our match then coming up against Mullerwell is big. And if we can beat Mullerwell, we will be guaranteed top two. We'll be second in the league. So that is that just makes this game even more important, in my opinion. So absolutely buzzing for this. Team selection advice. I don't know what team we're going to go with. I'll, I will decide that when we get there. Robertson excited by Inform Hearts. Me too. Our league form's been good. So let's continue that. Let's actually let's have a quick look at our league form before we do anything because I'm pretty sure we've like won. I think we've won five at our last six. I don't want to say for sure, but I believe it's some. It's a crazy stat similar to that. Yeah, so we beat Ross County, then we drew against Celtic, beat Aberdeen, beat Kilmarnock, beat Rangers, beat Mullerwell. So okay, it's not what I thought it was, but actually it is. Wait, one, two, three, four. It is. It's five wins at our last six, and the one that we didn't win was a draw against Celtic. I mean, and Celtic haven't drawn against many teams this season. So yeah, we are. We're definitely on the the road to something. You know, we're we're heading in the right direction. We're not lost in terms of getting European football. In terms of getting third place, we're exactly where we need to be at this stage of the season. Uh, let's speak, speaking of Celtic, they're taking on Dundee United here. I don't think there's a title race on, but I, I would like Dundee United to win anyway. It'd be nicer if we could claw the gap a wee bit, but I expect, yeah, some of that. Celtic are just on fire at the moment. Look at their goal difference, 36 plus. I mean, Rangers' goal difference is four, and, and Celtic's is 36. That's just crazy. I'll be, I would be, I'd be surprised, man, if Geo Van Bronckhorst ain't sacked soon. With Livingston beating Kilmarnock and St Mirren with a 2 1 win over Ross County. So, I don't know, who do Rangers play? That's what I don't really know. Hopefully, whoever they play, beat them, because. Then we can get even further ahead. Uh, Hearts have received 154k. Okay, good. More money. Here, yeah, it's, it's, it's money. It's, no one's going to refuse the green stuff. And Kyogo Furuhashi, looks like he's one player of the week. We've been uh, been recommended about Leighton Clarkson. Yeah, we're just not signing Leighton Clarkson. You know you ain't getting Leighton Clarkson. That guy's quality. And uh, I'm sure he's going to be a big, big player in the future. I, if I thought we could somehow realistically get him, I'd be right in there. But I just know that that, that deal's not going to happen. He's going to go back to Liverpool and... He will probably get loaned it again, but uh, there's a lot more value on him than there was before he uh, joined Aberdeen. So we're taking on Mullerwell. Rangers are taking on St. Johnston. I will keep an eye on that scoreline. Hopefully St. Johnston can do us a favour, can take points off them. But we'll focus on our own game, our own result, and we'll make sure that we get the win that will put us second in the table. So in terms of the team that we're going... Ah, uh, Barry McKay is looking a wee bit tired. 
Do we drop Barry? We could. We could drop Barry and maybe play... Do I play Snodgrass? You could play Snodgrass. We'll put Snodgrass in there for now. I mean, Barry Mackay, he's just not really fit, is he? If we're being completely honest. I might bring Barry Mackay on as a sub, but for now, he's he's not going to play. Toby Civic's a bit tired, so we'll play Kai Rolls instead. Michael Smith wants game time, and we'll, we'll give him game time because Atkinson's been playing a lot lately. Craig Gordon just got man of the match at 9.0. I would like to give Sander Clark a chance, but I can't take Craig Gordon out. And I think that's it, guys. I think that is the team that we are going to go with. Is it? Maybe put Gary Mackay Stephen on the bench. Um, I think that's it. I believe that is it. We've got Keo and Devlin in the middle. But Engine will be back soon, which is really good, as will Kingsley. So I'm, I'm excited to get those two back. But I think that's how we're going to line up then. Andy Halliday, son, you're getting nowhere near the team. Peter Haring's back. Peter Haring's available. Maybe play Haring in this anchor role. Uh, do we play ha Let's see what Haring does. Yeah, he does a free. Yeah, we'll play Haring in there because I feel like Haring's been pretty decent. So that's it. That's the team then. It's going to be Gordon, Cochrane, and Rolls, Halkett, Smith, Devlin, Haring, Snodgrass, Forrest, Ginelli, and Shanklin. That's the 11 players that we're sending out. And hopefully those 11 players will help us move into second place. Stephen Humphreys is feeling mixed about the lineup. So Stephen Humphreys probably wanted to start, which is fair. I mean, players probably want to start every game, don't they? But it's just one of those things you can't. We've, only, we've got a start in 11. We don't have a start in 23. We don't have a start in 25. We've got a start in 11. So all the best out there, guys. Have fun. That's what I'm going to say, because a lot of pressure's been on us lately. We're out of Europe now. We can focus on the league. Let's go out. Let's get a good result. And like I say, let's have some fun. But our recent form's good in all competitions. We haven't lost in all, at least our last five. So whereas Mullerwell, look at their results. They've been pretty poor. So I'm, I think we can definitely... I think we can definitely turn Mullerwell over here. And I'd, I'd expect to win this rather easily. That's what I'm hoping for. Hopefully that's what we can do. Mullerwell not doing well at the moment. Sitting 11th in the league table. They're struggling. So Mullerwell will want to win this. But if, of course, you want to win every game. Doesn't mean that you will. Let's see then. Nine minutes in. We've had one shot compared to Mullerwell zero. So Mullerwell not really offering that much. As things currently stand, it's Alex Cochrane. His cross took a deflection into the path of Haring. Oh, and Haring hits it straight at Liam Kelly. Could he have done better there? It looks like it. I think Haring definitely could have went either side of the goalkeeper. Kind of just hit it straight at him. Which is unfortunate because, like I said, if he goes either way, he's in a good position. He, he might score there, but he didn't. He? Uh, 25 minutes in now, we are on top. But as soon as I say that, Mullerwell do get a free kick. It's going to be Goss to take this one. Goss looking for a good delivery. He puts it into the back post. It's headed away. Michael Smith can't fucking head that out of the air. What's he doing? Michael Smith cries and bitches about not getting any game time. I give him game time there and he's unable to te contest that header with, with Ricky Lamy, man. That's a joke. And now it's Mullerwell with another free kick. What the hell's happening here? Another Oh, Craig Gordon has to make the save. It's still in play, though. McKinstry, his shot's blocked. Ricky Lamy, Cochrane slides in. Oh, and we've been awarded a free kick. Cochrane slid in there on a yellow card. That's insane, right? We're going to go attacking here. And I'm also... Let's shout at the players, because we're not doing fucking well. We're not doing well at all. Let's berate the team. Oh, my Christ. Louis Moltz tapped that in. Is there a flag to save us? I don't think so. There ain't. I don't... We're 2-0 fucking down here. What's actually happened? What has happened? How, how are we 2-0 down against Mullerwell? 37 minutes in. We started well. And that's just completely out the windy. Haring now. Come on. We need to go for half time here. Haring plays back to Rolls. What a chance. If we could possibly go second. We can go second today. We just need to win. Even a, even a draw would possibly put a second if Rangers uh, slip up. Right, ball it to Snodgrass. It's a good ball forward through Kai Rolls. Let's go, Snodgrass. Turn around. He finds Haring. He's got some men in the middle. He finds Forrest. Forrest gets his back in the game. Come on. It's a good strike there for Alan Forrest. A uh, good assist for Peter Haring as well. I'm glad that I decided to play. So that's a good goal to get his back in the game. A lot of our players are tired, or especially Halkett and Cochrane. So I don't know. Maybe we'll have to, we'll have to look at that before we get at half time. Snodgrass. Oh, Liam Kelly. Puts it around the post. It's going to be a corner. And the referee is going to allow us to take the corner. So here we go. Robert Snodgrass, please. An equaliser before half time would be fantastic. Ball in. And it's it's going to fall for Devlin. His shot blocked. Haring goes down. And it's saved. And it's another corner. Kai rolls with a shot. But I've seen Haring go down. No penalty. No VAR. I was hoping so. 
Didn't happen. Snodgrass now with the delivery again. Whips it in. Back post. Head other way. Devlin is first to it. Devlin. And that's it. Should have got the ball back into play there quickly. Referee blew for half time. I mean, we're, we're back in the game. I mean, we've been the better team, but we find ourselves trailing. So, But that goal for half time will give us a chance. So I'd, I'd much rather go in 2 1 than 2 0. At 2 0, you'd be beginning to feel the world right back in this here. So um, let's point arms. I know we're not winning, but keep going. We'll get our rewards eventually. Okay, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not going to bury the team. And that actually, that team talk seemed to have responded well with the players because I think they know they're playing well. So there's no point me throwing water bottles and shit like that and having tanter, uh, tamper, ten, temper tantrum some. So we'll just we'll, we'll we'll congratulate. Well, not congratulate them, but we'll we'll praise them. You know, they have played well. So hopefully we can see more of that in the second half. We are going to go a bit more direct with the passing. And we're going to look to overlap on the right and on the left. And let's see if we can... Right, Gordon hits it short here to Halkett. Halkett to Michael Smith. I am probably going to make subs here when this ball goes into play. So we are going to make changes. It is Halkett. His ball played it to the Cochrane there on the left-hand side. Cochrane does a nice wee spin, nice wee pirouette. Finds Rolls. Rolls to Haring. It's Devlin. It's back to Rolls. Kai Rolls then going to come out from the back. He plays into Halkett. Halkett, I mean, this is pretty slow here. Pedestrian style stuff. You do realise we're losing with 28 minutes to go, lads. Uh, Halkett then out to Michael Smith. Smith to Devlin. Again, the pass. I mean, it's just sideways, backwards passing here, man. McCanny seemed to get her own half. Finally, we do. It's Josh Janelli. Can he make something happen? He's looking for Alan Forrest. He finds Alan Forrest. Forrest now. Good pass, and Forrest finds Shankland. You know what? Complaining about the goal. Maybe I should be happy. With hindsight, it was good build-up play. It was patient build-up play. And it's Lauren Shankland. I believe that's him got double figures now. He must have double figures. To proceed with the tactical change, yes. We're going to make more changes, so we're not done there. I want to make some substitutions, so let's go and do that. Uh, let's get some fresh legs on. Uh, Forrest, is, I mean, he's, yeah, he's got a goal and he's got an assist, but he is tired. I take Forrest off. I think I might, and I might bring on... Liam Boyce is motivated, so we'll bring on Liam Boyce. I don't know if him being motivated will help us, but we'll bring him on anyway. Um, Snodgrass is not doing much. You know what? I'm going to bring on... I'm gonna. Can we bring on Stephen Humphreys or will that maybe not? Nah, Stephen Humphreys can. Nah, he's not really working well as an inside forward, is he? Okay, we won't do that. Then we will. We'll take. We'll bring on George Grant. Can play that role. George Grant can match, actually play it in the left. But you know what? I'm actually gonna bring on Ewan Henderson, and we're gonna give Ewan Henderson a chance because Ewan Henderson hasn't really featured much. So we'll we'll see. We'll see what he can do. That's the two changes that we have made at the moment. But of course, I will be keeping an eye on some of the players we've got at the back because there is a lot of tired legs out there. Boyce, what can the substitute do? It's Liam Boyce. Come on, Boyce in space. Boyce drills it low and it straightens the hands of uh, Liam Kelly. That wasn't the greatest shot there for Liam Boyce. Got excited when I seen the space opening up, but nah, the shot just... It was never going in, really. Easy save for Liam Kelly. And that's probably one of the, the, the few saves that I think I could actually have made myself. So, yeah, boys, you need, to, you need to get your shooting boots on, son. McKinstry, though. Oh, no, Louis Moult. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake, Louis Moult. McKinstry to Moult. M&M. &M. And it's 3-2 Mullerwell. So we were back in the game momentarily, and now Mullerwell are back in front, man. This is not what we wanted. Not at all. Got 15 minutes to try and do something here. Again, we're going to we'll fire up the team here. We need something to happen. Let's make some changes here. I might stick... I'm going to stick to up front. We're going to go... We're going to go Humphreys up front with uh, Shanklin. So let's go. Let's put Stephen Humphreys up front. Uh, we'll play Humphreys as... A, we'll play him as an advanced forward on attack. And at the back, it's going to be Halkett pretty much on his own here. Yeah, we're going to have Halkett at the back. on it. He is tired, though. Oh, Craig Halkett, son, you are really tired. But who can we really... We can't really... Uh, did I bring on Nielsen on his own? Is Nielsen really going to... Yeah, we're going to do it. Fuck it, Nielsen's going to come on. On his own, man. We we uh, lose Nielsen at the back. This is going to be tough. But we have to go for it. And we've got one more sub if we choose to use it. Do we choose to use it? Well, that's the question. Alex Cochrane's absolutely done. Alex Cochrane is fucked at the moment, to be fair. We'll bring on, yeah, we'll bring on Andy Halliday. He better not get another red card, though, like he did last time. 
So that is the changes. That's all we can kind of do. And we're, we're also on ferry attacking in terms of the mentality. So well, I've done my part. Now I just need the players to do theirs. O'Donnell, we have thrown into the box. It's going to fall here for Liam Boyce. There could be a counter on. Liam Boyce. Oh, Liam Boyce, man. Just gets done by Slatery. That's shit. We should be doing a lot better there. There were so many Hearts players forward, right? We win it back. Henderson to Devlin. Devlin just outside. Toe pokes it. Looks for Ginelli. Finds Ginelli into the box. Shanklin's there. It's falling for Halliday. Henderson back to Halliday. Halliday. Oh, finds Humphrey. And what's Humphrey's doing? What the fuck is that? Devlin with a firecracker for distance. But Humphrey's man on the edge of the six-yard box. Passes it out the box. What's he doing? Turn around and take a shot, mate. Turn around and swing at it. What the fuck was that? Unbelievable, right? Devlin here picks it up. Here we go. It's Michael Smith. Michael Smith will look for... Oh, it's found, boys. It's Humphreys. Surely this is it. Oh, and Humphreys scores despite the lag. Humphreys levels the game there. Good stuff, right? Come on. 3-3. Free, free. We've left ourselves... It's 3-3. Free, free. We've left ourselves three minutes here to try and get a winner. We're going we're gonna to do it. Come on. I want more, guys. Give me more. We need mail. Four minutes he had it on time. Is there any sort... We're just going to hit early crosses, shoot on sight here. Uh, we'll get players up and let's just go for this, man. Is there any time, though? Can we create one last opportunity? We've had more than double the amount of shots as Motherwell, so I think we deserve the win. But I mean, we have been behind multiple times, so maybe a draw wouldn't be the worst result in the world. But here we go. Penny throws it up. It's effort. Humphreys there. He heads it into Haring. Could there be one last chance for us? It looks like a Humphreys trying to find Shanklin. Shanklin through, please. Oh, my God. Lauren Shanklin with a goal. With 14 seconds to go, Lauren Shanklin has given us the lead. He does a roll in the corner. He fucking deserves a roll. Deserves a sausage roll for Greg's, man. That's a brilliant goal. That's fantastic, and that should do it. Four minutes is up. Four minutes is up. And Mullerwell's time is up. Mullerwell have lost today at Tyne Castle. I do not believe it, man. Humphreys. Oh, Humphreys and Shanklin. Maybe we need to experiment two up front. I don't know. Nielsen came on at the centre-back, and he was great as well. Alan Forrest was great before he got subbed. Oh, what what a performance. You know, if we 2-0 down and 3-2 down, did not look like we were getting three points today. But we've got them. I, I'm, I'm absolutely buzzing with that. So, yeah, I cannot complain, man. That is, I'm over the moon with those results. I didn't even... Oh, what if I picked her? Very well. Victory well done. That's good. That's that's good enough for me. I am happy with that. A lot of the players played well there, so... Yeah, that's one of those games where, you know, we've actually escaped with the win. We've managed to scrape the win, even though it didn't look like we were getting it. Not based on performance, because performance-wise, we played well, but just based on the fact that we were 2-0 down at one stage. Then we not long to go. We were 3-2 down. So for us to pull the win out there... It's tremendous, and it does move us into second place now. We're three points ahead of Hibs. We remain a point ahead of Rangers, who defeated St. Johnston with two late Morelos goals. So Rangers were a wee bit lucky there as well, and we are still, what, eight points behind Celtic. You know what? You can't ask for much more than that, guys. I'm happy with that 100%. Uh, we've got Rangers coming up next door. Shanklin shines. We'll praise Shanklin. Really happy with your performances at the moment, lad. Keep them. Let's make it seven unbeaten. Yeah, the magic seven. Lucky number seven. Hopefully we can make it eight. Hopefully we can make it nine. And then just continue and continue to keep on uh, going here. But yeah, that's where we're going to end it, guys. We will be back for the next episode when we take on Rangers in the league and also Livingston. And that will be the final two games before... We head off for the winter break for the World Cup. So, going to be a big World Cup. It's going to be a big, long period that we're not playing football for. I know it's only a month, but it's so weird to have, like, a month's break in that period. Of time. Well, I say a month. It's more like five weeks. So, our last game will be against Livy on the 12th of November. Then we come back for Kilmarnock on the 17th of December. So, I'm buzzing. I'm looking forward to it. It's, it's going to be exciting. And I just hope that we can sign off on the first half of this season, so to speak, with uh, with two wins. So, yeah, Rangers up next, then Levy, and then it's the winter break. And in that winter break, I will be evaluating the squad. We'll be looking at the squad. We'll be looking at players' contracts to extend. And we'll also be having a wee dab in the Twitter market and seeing if there is anybody that could be coming to hearts. And plus, another thing I want to do is I want to do some scouting. I want to try and get some scouts set up. I want to maybe try and scout certain regions in the world and, and maybe try and do what other clubs have done. Because at the moment, you see Hearts are kind of bringing in Australian players. You've got Ange at Celtic bringing in Japanese players. I would like us to have the, our own little couple of countries where we can, you know, get a crop of talent from and, 
and, and, and maybe like focus on certain leagues and nations to see about in, uh, improving and strengthening our squads. That's what I want to do, and I will do that next time, guys. But for now, it's another win against Mullerell. We left it fairly late, but we got it, and we remain second in the league. So things are looking good, guys. Leave a like, leave a comment. I'll be back for the next one. Big, massive game at Ibrox. We beat them last time in the league. They'll be looking for revenge. Will they get it, though? We will find it next time. That's it, guys. I've been Scotland 90 Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one, and peace.